But you guys got a preventive maintenance uh, video here for you to cut down on computer problems. So in step one, we're going to be taking a look at cleaning out the dust on a computer. Now you can see here, this is where the airflow is for the PSU and also the graphics card. It's full of dust and this is going to stop airflow, which will shorten the life of your hardware. Now, if you've got any sort of ventilation or any sort of uh, filtration on your computer, you want to remove these and give these a good clean also. Uh, some of these can be washed as you can see this one is really full of dust and that's going to stop any uh, sort of airflow to the hardware which is going to shorten the life of it. This is the front intake area you can see it's full of dust and this normally happens because it's been on the carpet and it draws in uh, fluff and dust. So take it outside get a shop vac or compressed air and blow it all out. So step two we're going to move on to updating windows and software and your drivers. So the first thing uh, that you want to do is go into the start button and click settings and then we're going to update windows. So we're on windows 10 here. Once you're in windows settings you want to pull this down until you see update and security. Go into here and check for windows updates. Now this is going to patch the computer and any security risks or any backdoors or holes in the in the security this will fill them up and uh, fix them any bugs as well next we're going to check our software make sure your software is kept up to date this is important because this is can also be breached by uh, other types of uh, security issues like malware and stuff like that you can see here you can just hit the download and run and it will keep all this uh, software updated you can do this with your drivers also, but this is just a uh, file hippo app manager. There's loads of others. And if you want to know some other ones, then head over to the forums and I'll list them out for you over there. You can install beta if you want to or remove that. It's entirely up to you, but just give the system a good scan and update all your software. So the next thing you can do in step three is to clean junk files and folders. Now, Programs like C Cleaner has uh, been around for a long time and uh, it's got loads of settings on it and I've made a full blown video on this on how to set this up and run it properly uh, but in here I'm just going to show you the actual program. You can select what you like, uh, just remember that if you're cleaning out the browser history that also there's an area where you can um, clean out passwords and stuff and if you don't remember those passwords you won't be able to log back in. So you can see I'm cleaning out old prefetch files here. You can select what you like on here and give this a good clean. Now try to stay clear of registry cleaners and tools like that because they can cause more damage uh, to the system. So I try to leave the registry alone. Uh, but here you can click analyze. I'm just gonna hit uh, cleaner and it will clean the system and free up all those junk files. Now this will claim back a lot of free space, uh, free space for you. And the next thing uh, you want to do is clean out any sort of folders or junk folders that you've got lying around on your computer. You can see inside these areas here you should have loads of old uh, rubbish that you want to get rid of. Just clean those out manually. Um, here I've got two files in here you can see in my C root directory install.esd and install.wim. These are taking up six gigs of space. I don't need them anymore, so I'm just gonna remove these quickly from the system. And you can do this by just going around the computer and uh, removing any rubbish that you don't need anymore. This will free up a lot of space uh, for you. So next up, we're gonna remove any unwanted programs. So you can go to control panel here and go programs and features and remove any programs that you're not using anymore. This will also free up space on your hard drive. So just go through here. I'm pretty sure there's loads of programs that you don't even use anymore. Just go through here and uninstall them. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Just click on and uninstall. You'll be surprised how much uh, space you'll reclaim. So click finish. Let's move on to step four. In this one, we're gonna be running scans with anti-malware programs. So I'm going to hit malware bytes here, click update. It's important that you get the latest updates and then run a scan with malware bytes. I'm just going to be doing a quick scan here, but you may want to check the settings out just to make sure that you have got rootkits, uh, pups detected and all that sort of good stuff in the settings here. Most of it is already automatically enabled by default. Now click quick scan. 
and run a scan on your computer. Now, if you don't find any malware on the system, you're pretty much good to go. But if you do find malware, you may want to um, do more scans with different types of software. And I've made videos on that as well. So we can close this off. Now, for my antivirus program, I'm going to go into Control Panel here and go to Windows Defender because I'm using Windows Defender on Windows 10. So I'm going to check for updates for their definitions and then run a quick scan with that as well. This is just making sure that the system is free from any sort of infection which can slow the PC up. Now obviously if you do start finding malware on a large scale you need to do way more scans than what I'm doing here. I'm just using the quick scan method. This is why they call it preventive maintenance. Next we're going to go to Bleeping Computer and download the ADW Cleaner and run a scan with this. Now this is going to get rid of any adware on the system, uh, any junk like that. And these can slow up the system also. Now this has been recently taken over by Malwarebytes. Now I've got a firewall on here so I need to allow that to go through. So I'm just going to allow it to go through and hit scan. Now this may need a reboot, so once this has been completed you may need to reboot the system. But as you can see my system is clean, so I'm just going to make sure that the system is clean. You want to do this on a regular basis, just to make sure that nothing slips through. You can see here it's found a few pups, which is quite normal. And I'm just going to click OK here and remove these and reboot the system. Now for step 5, we want to delete all our restore points. I'm going to go to System, Advanced System, Settings, and then go into System Properties here. And if you look at System uh, Protection, click on the uh, Configuration tool here. And uh, inside here you will see a Delete All Restore Points. The reason why we want to do this is because this could end up taking up a lot of space. So we're going to clean all of these restore points now and create a nice fresh new one. Now obviously if you don't want to do that you can keep these if you want to but they do start to build up and take a lot of space up. So I'm just going to put a new one in here now called clean. You can call yours whatever you like. And then when that's, when that's done we'll move on to the next step. Okay so we're going to move on to the next step, which is step six, we're going to be calling this backing up your computer. So first off, if you use the backup feature inside uh, your operating system, you can create a system image. And if you don't know how to do the full procedure here, you can watch some of my videos. I've done the full backup process on this program. I'm just going to show you the method here. And if you use something like Cronus, again, it's advisable to back up regularly just to keep a nice fresh backup. You can either do the entire PC or just disks and partitions. We'll choose disks and partitions in this case and you can see it's automatically highlighted at the C drive here. Now once this is done we can uh, select a destination and it's advisable that you select an external drive here but just for this tutorial I'm going to show you just the backup to another drive. But it's best to keep a backup off the computer just in case you get hit with ransomware or something like that. So you can see here there's lots of options, uh, but we have a backup area here which I'm going to select. And all I have to do now is just hit backup now. So now we've got a restore point and we've now got a backup of our computer. So for the next uh, backup, we're going to be backing up the registry. Now it's important that we have different backups because it gives us options. So I'm going to quickly make a quick backup of the registry. Now this can also be backed up to an external drive if you want to. Open up RegEdit here. And uh, once we've got the registry editor open, we can just go to File and Export. Pretty simple. There is software out there that can do all this for you. And you can set a schedule, which I uh, would recommend you do. And you can choose a location where you want to back this up. I'm just going to put it in the root directory just for this video. You can put it into a folder if you wish it back up and the date that way if you get hit with a, a, a corrupt registry or anything like that or you've made a mistake you can always use the registry as a backup uh, and then reinstall your registry 
And that's pretty much the backup section done. So let's move on to the next section. I'll just quickly show you it here. It's backed it up here, and that's 310 megabytes, as you can see. So we'll close this off and move on to the next step. Now, this is the final step, which is scan your hard drive for errors. Now, all we're going to do is just use check disk here just to check the drive and make sure there's no errors on the drive. It's always good to do this once in a while just to make sure the drive is in good state. You can use other tools as well if you wish like crystal disk, uh, but we're just going to do check disk here and push C colon for the C drive and push enter and it'll do a quick scan on that drive. And you can also do SFC scan now if you wanted to just to be sure everything's running fine. And that's pretty much it. That's your preventive maintenance step by step to make sure your system stays in good working order. If you follow these steps it should keep your computer in tip-top condition. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I do upload new videos. Now, if you've got any problems with your computers or you just want to join the community, then the forum is the place to be. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.